Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue with the exception processing message 0xc000006, unexpected parameters. Please excuse me if I accidentally added or subtracted a zero by mistake when reading that error message. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the start menu. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best results should come back a red sheet editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now, before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So, if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it is very simple. You just would go ahead and select the file tab and then export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range should be kept to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer or external media source. And if you ever needed to restore back from the backup, you could just select file and then import and navigate to the file location. So again, very straightforward. And now we are ready to begin. So you want to go start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the system folder. Same thing for control set 001 to go ahead and double click on that. Same thing for control. And then there should be a windows folder. So you might want to scroll down and then select windows. On the right side, you want to locate something that says error mode. Let's go ahead and double click on that. Make sure value data is set to zero as it appears on my screen. So again, the numerical value is zero. Base should be hexadecimal, even though I don't think it'd make a difference if you set it to decimal, but base hexadecimal value data should be set to zero. Go ahead and select OK. Now you want to go ahead and just close out of here, restart your computer, and then hopefully that error message should have been resolved. There are a couple more things you can try here if that was unsuccessful. And now would be to go open up the start menu, type in CMD, best result should say command prompt, go ahead and right click on that and select one as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC followed by space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front as you see it on my screen. Hit enter and keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run. And while that is running, I will also suggest that another option you can try if this does not resolve it is you can try re-registering the DLL file. So that will be specific based on the file in question. And you're welcome to Google or search on my channel for re-registering DLL files. I believe I do have the tutorial for that, but feel free to check that out. Otherwise, we're just going to let this scan here. It shouldn't take us very long.
Okay, so you can see it did not find any issues in our case. However, you would want to restart your computer. And then hopefully the problem that you came to this video for should have been resolved. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.